All right, guys. Hey, today I have a great emergency survival item that you would want to carry with a vehicle that I want to show you show you guys off. This is a combination air compressor and battery jump starter, but it also has a couple additional features like a light, a battery charge capacity to charge your USB devices like your watches, phones, etc. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So it comes in this pretty nice uh, case here. It's actually pretty remarkably nice. has a nice little handle. It's pretty rigid. Um, as you guys can see by the, as a comparison to my hand, it's relatively small and would be really handy to carry around your vehicle. Okay. So this right here has a, a nice little kind of like a rubberized carrier to provide around the device itself. And this is it. This is all the size of it is, as you guys can see from my hand here and how thick it is. Uh, this is both, as I said, an air compressor, bat emergency battery jump starter, plus it's got some lights. And then down here, it has both a 5 volt, uh, 21 and 10 amp USB. So let's roll into what else we get in the box here. So it can be charged two ways. It comes with a DC cigarette lighter socket. That can be char that can charge up this 32,000 milliamp battery uh, lithium battery via your 12 volt in your vehicle, and also of course it has an AC power adapter. Up here it has this little mesh area that has a couple other items. So in here, we've got the actual uh, clips to plug on your battery for the emergency jump start function. And what I actually really liked is they also included this additional uh, airline hose here with uh, one of these type heads. This is probably one of my favorite parts right here. Dangled right on this line, it has where you can hold all of your little accessories as though, for example, if you wanted to inflate like a basketball or something like that. Super handy. I'm sure it's been other places, but this is one of the first times I've seen it. Okay, so Let's talk about the physical controls and, and apparatus on this device. So in the rear, it has the um, airline hose, which coils inside, which is nice for handy for storing. This can be screwed directly on, say, a tire stem, or as I had shown before, it comes with this extra cable here, which is a really interesting device, is this can actually be screwed right onto here, which gives you a pretty long extension. So I think that's pretty handy. And then when you're done with this, it just kind of coils around here. You know, this was a little detail that I actually liked. As you can see right here, they put like a little extra piece of rubber hose reinforcement. I'm guessing to account for the extra friction right there where it wraps around. That was a nice touch. And then it has little rubberized feet. Over here, you guys can see that you have the dual lights. So then on the front here, it has a couple controls. It has inflate tireless tire wirelessly. You can hear the air compressor. And then down here would be as if you had it plugged into the AC uh, or DC adapter. And then over here, it has a couple controls where you can uh, manipulate the, uh, uh, the measurement. So PSI or bar and a couple other controls. So it's pretty handy. Let's go ahead and show how it can charge a device. So as I said, it has both a 21 and a 10 amp USB on this side here. So we'll use my little watch here and we can just slide your standard USB plug in there. And you can see it's charging. So in conclusion, this is a nice emergency tire inflator, battery jump starter, flashlight, and USB charging device. Now the USB function works 100% normal and you can carry this around and use it all the time. The emergency jump starter is supposed to work up to like a 13 liter gas or diesel engine. Basically that's gonna account for most of your stand, you know, all the way up to most standard pickups and vans out there. The tire inflator works well. Uh, they, this company reports that it can inflate a standard car tire up in three minutes from zero. I did pump the van tires I carry, I uh, have the rear PSI was 80 PSI and I dropped it down to 20 or down to 60 and pumped it up. It took definitely more than three minutes. My say with this is the tire inflator definitely works, 
However, I would consider it only an emergency tire inflator. So if, for example, you were off-roading a lot and you were constantly airing down your tires and you needed something to pump it up, this would do it. It would just take a long time and you might want a heavier duty unit. My opinion is I think something like this is best suited and viewed as an emergency device. And for that, it does really well. And I always carry an air compressor and a battery jump starter. Usually they're dual items, but it's gonna be really nice to have this in a small compact package that's easy to carry. So check it out. Uh, I like it, works well. Link will be down in the description below. Thank you.